What is the crack, lads? And welcome back to your eFootball 2022 news roundup for the week. All the content, all the news, all the updates in a nice, short and simple video. So we are going to be starting, obviously, with the new players. I will be doing a review on all of these players and uh, seeing if you guys think that they're worth it. I think that some of them are and some of them are definitely not worth it. So if you do have a free nominating contract or a five star or a four star nominating contract, uh, make sure and check out that video. If you have not got your free nominating contract, your five star contract, I have a video on how to get it. So check that out. Link will be in the description below. But we've got a fine batch of players here. You've got Haaland, Ibrahimovic. I mean, Ibrahimovic being a breakout player, I mean, I don't know, he's 40 years of age, so I don't know the reason behind that. But um, yeah, maybe it's just a translation error or something like that. It could be like, I don't know, uh, at one point in their in their career or something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's, he's obviously going to be one to watch as well. Ibrahimovic is a really good player. We have also got Atletico Madrid, uh, which was there for the last day on Monday. And then we have the new Manchester United legends as well. So they were released. Uh, we've got Schmeichel. We have got Scolzi. And we've got Dennis Law. So we'll be doing a, a kind of a video on them as well quite soon. So make sure and check that out. So actually heading over to, um, you can just see there, check out eFootballDB.com as well. We will have all the players up on that. But checking out the actual release, right? So we've got the legends out of the way. We have got some news update, new updates on the, the eFootball Championship. So yeah, lads, I mean, the eFootball Championship at the moment is having a bit of a, well, I won't say a bit of an issue. It's having a lot of issues with cheaters, people that are manipulating their scores. I mean, as you said here, rank number one, um, Again, I don't like accusing anybody. I don't like, you know, calling anybody out or anything like that. But simple maths define that to score 380 goals in 15 matches is, yeah, it's uh, it's it's very, very, very apparent that some of these guys are just like completely abusing the rules of conduct. And Konami have kind of come out and said that we have confirmed that certain rank participants of the Open round two have breached the rules of conduct and they'll be deemed to have breached them to be disqualified at the discretion of the competition administrators. So we'll get into that in another video. I'm going to do a video on that. I already did one kind of talking about it. But yeah, I do I do think that they really need to get a grip on that because there is legitimate players missing out. There's legitimate players that just aren't going to bother to play because, you know, why bother when you can, you know, you're never going to catch the cheaters and never going to be able to score 15, 20 goals a game, every game for 15 games. So, yeah, we will do another video on that as well, but they are aware of it from what they're saying. Uh, next up, we've also got an in-match manager data issue. So uh, some people weren't actually sent out to 30,000 GP originally so last week or the week before i think it was posted yeah the 30th of the 6th um and the fix was put in for players and managers and team squads that the coaching affinity of the concerned managers they weren't working so you would go into a game plan and your different your manager would be playing a different game plan or a different formation or something like that some people never got the 30,000 gp i don't think i got the 30,000 gp but um i'll say i didn't anyway so hopefully i get it uh, we also have a premium objectives issue. So this is just certain freezes and stuff like that. The game freezes on the premium objectives purchase screen. Purchases could not be made, which is obviously a huge issue for Konami. The game freezes when attempting to claim objectives, which is obviously an issue for, for everybody um, that would be looking to claim that. So they say that we are going to be given 10,000 GP. Um, and anyone that has claimable rewards under Messi or Neymar or any premium club pack will also have their claimable rewards and the 10,000 GP in their inbox per respective objectives when they expire so obviously we have got 30 days left or around that for the new objectives to come um there will probably be another like couple of club packs i would i would predict that it's going to be club packs for like inter ac um and from what i've heard i think there's going to be some very kind of cool legends coming um so we can get that tested as well in a couple of days or a couple of weeks time so the big one that people are wondering is when is a friend match going to be coming and rather frustratingly especially for a console player like me and for most of you guys watching this video or listening to this video um friendly match lobby is actually coming but it's only coming to android and ios for now um it'll be releasing v1.1.4 update in mid-july right so we're on the 14th of july now so it'll have to be next week 
Uh, so probably next Thursday, they're going to release that update. And then I would say that the next big update that's coming for console will be when the premium objectives come. That would just be my opinion. Um, it says that you can just tell your friends to join the match, have them search and join in the fun. You can also set a password. So it works the same as PES 21s. Um, now, they do mention here regarding the new update file for all platforms. So PS5, Xbox, Steam, Windows 10. It says we'll be releasing the 1.1.4 update in mid-July. So the console version at the moment is on 1.1.2. Um, the mobile version is on 1.1.3. So I don't want any of this like crap. I just want it to be straight down the middle. If it's down the middle game where all platforms are equally, then they all the updates have to be equally as well. You know, you can't just pick and choose. Oh, we'll put friendly match lobby into mobile and, you know, not into console. And then we'll put something into console that's not in mobile. It has to be down the middle if it's on all updates. So imagine going on to Call of Duty and using a gun on the mobile version of the game and not being able to use that same gun in the console version of the game. You know, it just wouldn't happen. So I, I think they need to get to grips with that. But they say that they're aware of the issues with a couple of things and that they're going to be fixing them in the 1.1.4 update. We will continually strive for improvement. And this update mainly serves to fix discovered issues. Um, so they're just trying to, obviously, there's a couple of graphics and stuttering issues on the PS4 and Xbox One. And then camera issues and camera choice, stadium choice, um, can strive uh, on the PS5 and for mainly for discovered issues that they have said so general gameplay fixes bugs glitches whatever and then they say down here little sneaky line we are planning to introduce friendly match mode for consoles in an upcoming update so i think that needs to come asap man because we have a lot of content planned for matches and tournaments and stuff like that but yeah, that is basically it. So that is it for your news update, lads. Obviously, there's a couple of other bits and pieces on the breakout stars. We'll get into that in another video. And the legends obviously are there. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys are, are thinking of this. I'll be back quite soon with another uh, video. And uh, yeah, short and sweet. Hope you guys get covered with all your news. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Good luck.